recording now <clears throat> so what I do to do a speaker um, is gonna create a new sketch and I'm gonna draw it up there and then what I'm gonna do is uh, if I just draw the outside of the speaker first so let's say that that's the outside of the speaker and then if I go to do a rectangle that is a center rectangle I come out and bring that out slightly and if I want to make that a little bit rounder let's say I can always add my arc and click that to that and bring that out there and I can either do a circular pattern there or I can just repeat it and as it's pretty simple and everything's snapping to the grid I might as well just do it manually okay the next thing I can do is now trim those to delete it um, I've got the circles there so I can add my circle obviously you'll need to add yours in the right place but uh, I'll do it there and I'm gonna do the circular pattern for that so circular pattern there the center point is there and I want four of those okay so that's the outside I'm gonna finish that sketch and I'm gonna extrude that by one. Okay, so that is the plate. Now the hard part is how to do the speaker itself. Now that's 50, so create another sketch. This time I'm gonna do it flat, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna draw a profile. Uh, the profile, because that is 50 in diameter, my profile is gonna be 25. Okay, so that is 25 long. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to revolve it. So let me show you how revolving works if I can. If I stop that sketch, I'm going to create. Um, from the create menu, I'm going to roll down till I see the word revolve. And then I'm going to click this profile. And the axis I'm going to click is that line. You see, so that makes a disk. All right, let's cancel that. So what happens if I edit that sketch and turn that profile into something a bit more speaker like so what I can do here is if I go to arc click that one there that one there zoom in and we'll go here and if I click uh, let's click that one there that one there and bow that one a bit and then maybe I can even do that one there, that one there, and turn that like that. Okay, well, that looks a little bit weird, but let's see what happens. I'm going to trim that one, that one, that one. Okay, stop the sketch. Come round. Go to create. Go to revolve. Uh, I'm closing that so you can see what I do. I click that as the profile. That as the face and you can see that now makes the speaker so now what I do if I go to my bodies click body to move and drag that up don't forget to use that cube to your advantage there and keep turning it around until that goes in and that is how you do a speaker and press enter now the reason I did it like that is because then this is metal and this is uh, the fabric okay and that can just go straight into your work now, obviously you don't need to do that but if you do do that that would be doing beyond what you needed to do 